Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Portal Masters, Robert Welkner here from CoinOp TV, live streaming on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash CoinOp TV via the YouTube app there on my iPhone. Does everything look good? Everything looks straight there. Everything coming in loud and clear. I'm all caught up with Skylanders Academy Season 2. I want to do a recap, review, my thoughts on uh, reactions on the uh, last few episodes, episodes 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. I was going to do two videos and sort of break it up, but I was busy yesterday and today is Sunday and I just couldn't wait. I had to zoom through, I had to marathon, I had to binge my way because people already sending me spoilers on Facebook and Twitter and comments. Uh, for the spoilers of the world out there, you're idiots and you shall perish and burn in hell. But for those who have been patient and cool and chill and haven't spoiled things or haven't tried to spoil things, I appreciate it. Thank you. With that warning, this video will have spoilers to it, so you've been warned. I think I put spoilers in the title, so you don't know what, if you don't want to know what happens, then, uh, you know, watch, finish up the series, and then come back. We'll have a little Skylander Portal Master discussion. We're live streaming, so behave, so I don't have to give you a timeout. I'll give you some shout outs, answer some questions, concerns along the way. If you guys watch this on the archive, leave some questions too. Let me know what your reactions were to Skylanders Academy on Netflix. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of buzzing right now. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I kind of got like a little bit of a Skylander high because uh, the last few episodes of the season were really good. Took things up another level. Lots of characters, lots of villains, lots of stuff going on that was uh, pr pretty well done. I gotta say, you know, some of my issues so far with the show have been that uh, I've said this in some some of my videos that I felt like the writers weren't making the Skylanders have powers that they have in the video game or something they seem to like lack those powers it's almost like they have different abilities and powers or something which is kind of weird to me since i kind of grew up you know for five six years with these characters having certain abilities and char characteristics of the video game so but what i do like about the cartoon shows is sort of taking the lore and some of the backstory and sort of history and kind of either rewriting stuff into a new direction or creating new characters and new stuff that we haven't seen or just kind of putting it all together like a good salad there mixing it up and saying hey here's here's all the cool characters we have this is what we're going to do with them and we're going to roll with it and um I, I like i like what's happening i'm enjoying things um very much hey cruise fires in chat angels in chat luke's vlog is in chat uh cruise says i watched the whole series in one day uh i was gonna try and binge things but man i'm a i'm a busy busy dude so um okay so i'm gonna be brief on uh episodes like 9 10 and 11 but then like episodes 12 and 13 will will linger around a little more on those because those were like chock full of content stuff so episode uh nine skylanders academy season two episode nine was called belly of the beast uh, we got to see uh, my man Sai making a return there. Of course, voiced by the Diamond Martin Cart, popular YouTuber. This is a Skyline's Imaginator figure that I was that I got sent to me. Um, shout out to Portal Power TV. I think I used his chirp for this. I I think that's how I got it. Anyway. So we got to see uh, Sai back. So during the uh, Skylanders training, Sai arrives to let the Skylanders know that they have to save Kingpin. I feel like I have some toys, toys today, some visual, visual aids here. So there's Kingpin against the Fire Viper. Don't have a toy for the Fire Viper. And uh, they all up, end up inside of his stomach and mess, so, sort of join together to uh, unify the, the cadets and the Skylanders to get out of the Fire Viper's stomach. Uh, the cadets are initially uh, hesitant of incorporating bad breath and sigh, but soon lo learn that they need to join together to bond in battle to, to free themselves. So that's how, that's kind of the synopsis there for what's going on in Skylanders Season 2, Skylanders Academy Season 2, Episode 9. Uh, we get a little bit of uh, mystery and lore from some scenes with Kingpin and Eon at the end of the episode, talking about chaos and also chaos and mother and Chaos's mother, Cassandra, regarding Chaos's dark powers. So it's kind of setting things up there. Uh, let me see, I see a few more people jump to chat. Benny's in chat. Hey, Portal Power TV, I just gave you a shout out and you magically appeared in chat. I was showing off the sigh that I believe I got from your chirp. So thank you for that. Uh, Drobo Productions is in chat. What's up? Venomous Rain says you're an awesome YouTuber. Uh, and he's mentioning some awesome other awesome YouTubers. Thank you, thank you. 
So um, my thoughts on episode nine, it was cool, it was fun. Uh, again, we got to see some Psy, and I thought it was kind of cool seeing some Kingpin. Uh, you know, I like I like when they get the senseis in there. You know, they, they make them seem so uh, so official, so regal and stuff. So, all right, moving on. Episode 10, Who's Your Daddy? We get a quick fight in the beginning with Chompy Mage and then some soul searching with Spyro and Jetvac. Uh, we get a lot of Jetvac in season two, that's for sure. Uh, Jetvac adopts a new baby who runs amok inside the Skylanders Academy. Of course, we find out that he's a, a Greebles uh, baby or something like that. Kind of looks like a, a gremlin or something, kind of terrorizing things. Uh, meanwhile, Chaos and Glumshanks flip through some old photos of Chaos's mom and the Golden Queen, and it hints that Glumshanks is Chaos's father, but uh, we all know that that's untrue. That was just kind of a false, false sort of thing there. So uh, uh, that episode was okay. Episode 10 was okay. I feel like it was kind of like a little bit of the calm before the storm, kind of getting into the big, the big meat of things. So let's move on to episode 11. Again, I'm, I'm jumping through the, the, some of these episodes quick, but the later ones I'm going to dwell on a little longer. So uh, episode 11 was called Cheap Balls Dream, a dream catcher, and the Doom Raiders are sort of flying to try and find Chaos's mom's castle, and Dream Catcher bumps her head. I think Stealth Elf is sort of flying through the clouds, and she smashes into Dream Catcher, knocking Dream Catcher out, and Dream Catcher winds up with amnesia. So Eon decides that, hey, the best course of action is to incorporate Dream Catcher into the Skylanders, try and bring her back into the fold as part of her rehabil rehabilitation. Uh, Dreamcatcher is also visited by a mysterious dark evil calling himself Strykor, which I believe is spelled S-T-R-Y-K-O-R-E. I'd be curious to see if that's the official spelling. I used that from the uh, the uh, credits when I was watching there, like the, the German subtitles or something. But anyway, uh, Dreamcatcher and the gang decide to play, uh, they're, they're going to play a game of sheet ball with Dreamcatcher there. The match is interrupted by the Golden Queen who wants Dreamcatcher to return back to the Doom Raiders and a quick battle ensues. Uh, I was a little disappointed in this little battle here. Wolfgang always seems like a wimp in these battles. Like where, where's Wolfgang, like the tough, crazy Wolfgang crowd surfing and going nuts. It seems like whenever there's a Doom Raider battle, you know, Wolfgang is always kind of like second fiddle to Chompy Mage and um, you know, some of the other Doom Raiders, like Chef Packer Jack, doesn't seem very strong and, and, and crazy in these battles. You know, it always seems to be like the Golden Queen is kind of the uh, the main force of things. Um, okay, so let's see. At the end of the episode, the uh, Golden Queen and the Doom Raiders do show up at Chaos's mom's castle. And they turn her into gold uh, while Chaos and Glumshanks are sort of helpless at their mercy. So there's, there's some cliffhangers now. You know, everything's kind of leading into one main story here. Leading up to the big finale of the season which is a cliffhanger also so habit games habit gaming in chat says i'm watching and i subscribe thank you hey jab 28 is in chat and he says hello sky nerds i just watched a video on jab 28's youtube channel that i had a little cameo in talking about um what kind of skylanders guest characters we wanted to uh have in there and i all the other portal masters seem to have props and things like that and i was thinking oh god i should have showed a prop of the uh, person I was talking about. I won't spoil it here because I want you to watch this video. But uh, all right, so that was episode 11. All right, here we go. We're getting into like the nitty gritty here. Episodes 12 and 13 were like, um, I felt, almost felt like I was watching mini movies here of Skylanders mini movies and stuff like that. So uh, let me just jump over to chat here saying uh, Vitalik Shroom says, hey, Rob, how you doing? What up, what up, what up? And... Uh, let me see. I'm just seeing if anybody else gets a shout out here. All right, Jeff Tony says yes. The last show is awesome. All right, so here's a little synopsis and my impressions. Okay, so Skylanders Academy season two, episode twelve was called "It Take Text Two. It's hard to say. It takes two. It's a take on it's text two. Um, okay, so here's what I wrote down. Jetvac has some issues with his role as a Skylander. Um, I, although I thought he was like one of the instructors and not really like a Skylander. That was a little confusing there. He feels a little jealous of Sprocket when she starts fixing all the tech stuff around her in Skylands. Uh, but Jetvac's an air element and Sprocket's a tech element. So why is, why is Jetvac sweating on Sprocket? Shouldn't he be fixing airplanes or surfboards or something that requires air? I don't think surfboards, <laughs> air surfboards or something. And Sprocket should be doing some tech things. But anyway, I'm digressing. So uh, anyway, Sprocket sort of helps Jetvac realize that he has some magical eggs that he uh, 
can produce and so all is happy with that so um also in the episode spyro threatens to leave if eon doesn't explain his origin spyro's getting restless and wants to know about his history his ancestry where he's from his parents things like that eon caves in and explains to spyro that he had to use his powers to fight against strikor destroying spyro's ancestry ancestry and it's another tricky word to say it uh while i'm live streaming here so Spyro's like, you know what? Later, Eon, you've been lying to me, bruh, and uh, I'm done with this. And uh, Portal Power says in chat, so is Jetpack a female? I guess in the world of Skylanders, the male characters can lay eggs. Uh, that doesn't really make sense, as, as you're saying there. So, um, so Eon's like, hey, here's the deal. I uh, I had to use some magic to uh, hurt your folks and your, your dragons so spiral's like you know what i'm out of here see you later wouldn't want to be ya so uh meanwhile over in Cassandra's castle uh chaos opens up his mother's book and reveals the darkness in his in the castle is uh chaos's father looking to be released i feel like we've been waiting to see chaos's father for years i mean i remember when they introduced chaos's mother and i thought oh hey you know in the video games maybe we'll see chaos's father coming up so um i feel like it's been years <laughs> we've been waiting for chaos's father I, I like the way they're kind of showing him as kind of this dark brooding shape with uh you know this ominous voice and and all that drobro Bro productions and chat says where's jet fat keep all his eggs i don't think is he keeping his backpack i think he's sort of laying them when he gets nervous that's that's kind of the thing so so episode 12, very fun, a lot of stuff going on. Some of the stuff with uh, Jetpack and Sprocket, as I mentioned earlier, I thought was a little disjointed because, you know, why would, Jetpack's a professor. What does he need to kiss up the Skylanders? He's he's the man, you know? It's like Dumbledore getting, uh, you know, jelly of, uh, you know, Harry Potter because he's, you know, chilling with all the other, um, you know, students or whatever. But uh, anyway, let's move on. Here's the big one, the season finale, Skylanders Academy season two, episode 13, was called Touch of Evil. Of course, that's a uh, Orson Welles movie. And uh, so for, for you cinema film buffs there. So uh, Via Tech Shroom says, she, yes, shouldn't Jetpack be working on like a hoverboard or something? Yes, as an air, air, air Skylander, that's what I was thinking. Angel says, I want to get something for Christmas, merch. I want to get merch for Christmas, get some God merch for Christmas. Awesome. Okay, so uh, Indominus Rex is in chat as also. I'll give a little shout out there. Okay, so let me get to my notes and impressions and stuff like that. Um, Angel says, I want some Coinet TV merch. If you click on the About page where there's links, I do have some Coinet TV t shirts. So, uh, you can you can check out the Coinet TV T-shirts on there. I think uh, I think only a handful of people own one. Of course, Portal Power TV has one. I think Malisol has a T-shirt. Uh, a couple other people. I'm forgetting. All right, let me get back. Let me get back to the synopsis here. So, Touch of Evil. Uh, this follows up from the previous episode. Chaos's father explains to him how he's banished by Chaos's mom. We sort of learn a little more of that as we go. Uh, Spyro pays Malifor a visit and tries to convince him to find out more about his history. And Malifor reveals that Spyro's parents are still alive. So another reveal, we're getting Chaos's dad reveal. Spyro's parents being alive reveal. We're going to get the big reveal with Eon a little later. Lots of stuff going on in here. Yes, Portal Power TV says he does have a shirt. Awesome. I, I remember because I we talked about this. All right. So uh, Chaos receives new powers from his father and vanquishes the Golden Queen. Malifor tells Eon to return Cinder to him or he'll, he'll kidnap Spyro uh, and uh, take him to the Candivorous Crypts. And uh, Chaos frees his mom and steals her powers away but isn't strong enough to free his father. Uh, so there's a little of that going on. Uh, you know, I like all the magic stuff happening and... Uh, one thing I've always liked about Skylanders and Spyro and all that stuff is magic and fantasy. So when whenever there's um, fantasy magic and stuff like that going on, I'm cool with that. It's when they kind of forget about their abilities and they're just doing like mundane things that I kind of lose interest a little bit when I'm watching the show. Okay, moving on. So um, Malifor, so then Chaos shows up and he's like, you know what? Uh, my dad, he's powerful, he's evil, he wants Spyro because we're going to like suck away his life force, his, his good life juice from him. So Malifor uh, agrees to give 
Chaos Spyro, and then the Skylanders show up right after that, and there's like a, a little battle with Cinder and the Skylanders, and against Malifor, uh, they try and get Spyro back, but Spyro isn't there anymore. Malifor runs off taking Cinder, so we'll see what happens with that. There's another little cliffhanger there. Uh, and then uh, Strykor uh, calls himself a light eater and absorbs the good energy, I guess we'll call it that, the light energy, the good energy from Spyro, and appears in the flesh in hopes of destroying the core of light. I guess that's his objective. He wants to destroy the core of light. He wants to, you know, let evil ensue. He's like Voldemort. Evil must ensue throughout the lands of Skylands. So um, here's another big thing that happens, and this is something that spo somebody spoiled in comments, so haters dab on the hater spoilers, right? Um, Spyro turns into Dark Spyro. Chaos's mom uh, shows up and uh, to Eon and says, hey, you know, we gotta join forces and team up like we did in the past and uh, vanquish this light eater, Strykor, and uh, so that's kind of how the cliffhanger is. And then right at the end, and spoilers, I mentioned this already, but right at the end we get uh, Eon's reveal. It takes off his, his helmet or his, his mask or whatever. It's not a mask, but it takes off his hat and reveals that he's got sort of the magic, the magic dots. I don't know what those are called, kind of like Chaos has on his head there. So what's the story with that? Is Eon a, um, is Eon Chaos's dad's brother? Is he part of the Chaos family? Big giant cliffhanger there. I haven't, I just watched this like minutes ago before I live stream, so I haven't really processed this all, but I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm buzzing, I'm high on Skylanders Academy. Let me jump in and live stream and get some thoughts. Uh, Portal Power TV and says it basically turns Spyro into Dark Spyro. Yes, so that's kind of what happens. Now we already knew there's been Dark Spyro in the past from way back in the day in the video games and in Skylanders, so now we get uh, that happening in the uh, cartoon. Um, uh, Angel in chat says, Coin up to be shirts look cool. Thank you. Thumbs up for you that comment. Uh, Cruise Fire says, Burn, burn. Are you talking about spoilers? Gotta burn. So, uh, Vantic Shroom says, I think he is Chaos's brother. I think that's kind of the theory I'm gonna go with. That Eon is Chaos's dad, Strykor's brother. Uh, Dominus Rex says, I think he's Chaos's father. Hmm. Okay, well, Chaos's father, we think, is Strykor. Of course, that could all be twisted up, you know? I feel like uh, there's th this could be a thing. Okay, Portal Power TV says, I think Eon is actually Chaos's father. This could be true, uh, which would be interesting. So that would mean that uh, Cassandra and Eon got a little busy back in the day, popped out a shorty in the name of Chaos. Uh, yeah, yeah, that could be a thing. So then what would that make Strykor? Would the, would the Strykor and Eon still be brothers? Or be his, his evil brother? Could it be, uh, you know, something else? I like this. I like these theories. I like the live stream and the comments and the theories. This is this is good. We're working together. We're trying to figure it out. Um, Portal Power TV says Striker lied. And Dominus is ex agreed. Exactly. Okay, good. Jap28, what do you say? The birds and the bees, LOL. Yes, yes. Uh, it actually was a reference to the birds and the bees in the show there, so... Uh, Drobro says, no Chaos, I'm your father. Are you doing that in like a Darth Vader voice there or something? So, uh, yes, like, uh, if you haven't seen some of the Star Wars movies, uh, there's definitely a, I feel like a play on the whole father thing with, uh, with the Star Wars. Man, my hair is getting out of control. I think I need to go get a haircut sometime this week. My work schedule in real life has just been like hella busy and I haven't really been able to do a lot of things that I've been wanting to do, including personal hygiene, so apologize uh, for that. Speaking of hype, who's seen the new Call of Duty trailer that dropped today? I just watched that also today. Uh, it was really fun, it was like a live action trailer. It was like, hey, let's get, the, let's get our friends and our peeps all back together to play some new Call of Duty. Uh, I thought it was a really fun uh, trailer there. Speaking of Star Wars, I'm looking forward to the last Jedi hype there. Uh, Viet Extreme says, um, you should get your hair short on the sides and long on top, get a little mullet thing happening or something. Um, I will be getting a haircut soon, so hopefully uh, when you see me next, my hair will be shorter. It's not so crazy. My thoughts on hair is, I know I got like a big giant forehead dome, Cro-Magnum there, but I ain't got a bald spot. I ain't got no bald spot and my hair grows. So sometimes it's not so bad when I get the fro. Maybe, you know, maybe I should do like a little mohawk there for like Halloween be uh i can be a wolfgang or something who's who what skylander has a mohawk in there 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I should do that. So, hey, Liam is in chat, and Abix15 is in chat and says YOLO. Are we still using YOLO? Man, okay. Um, and Dominus Ray says, I sadly watched a clip of Dark Spire before I watched the episode. Uh, you couldn't, you couldn't wait. You had to, you had to get in there, right? Uh, Vietek Shroom says, you should be a villain for Halloween. Uh, fun fact, I was actually, uh, a Skylander for, uh, I was, um, Chop Chop. I had to think of it because it was so a while, a while ago. I was a Chop Chop for Halloween once. If you go back to some of my old videos, you should see a thumbnail as me as Chop Chop for like Halloween. So I, I, I have dressed as a Skylander for Halloween and I did a video of that. So, okay. So this video has been like 20 minutes. I was trying to keep it around 15 minutes, but uh, there was so much stuff happening so shout outs to uh, eric rogers and activision and skylanders and you know the team involved the animation and the voice actors involved with skylanders academy season one and two i think you guys did a great job i had some minor complaints with some of the stuff going in there but overall it was really fun and um can't wait for skylanders academy season three man it's gonna be a long a long wait for that uh which i'm assuming is gonna be september or october 2018 on netflix so we'll see what happens. Uh, if I see Eric Rogers at a Comic-Con or in person, I'm gonna grab him and say, tell me what happens. I need to know what happened to Cinder, what happens to Spyro, what happens to everything. So, uh, Portal Power TV says, if Aura is Eon's niece, does that mean that Stryker is Eon's brother? And therefore, oh man, this, I might have to make like another video with just like uh, speculation or something like that on uh, the whole her heritage of all the characters now that we have all these new things introduced so anyway give you guys all a portal master rank up thanks a bunch for watching if you guys watch this on the archive leave some comments what are your theories let me know what's going on and share this video so we can get more people watching and get some more theories going so thanks a bunch for watching for coin app tv we'll see you next time